when it comes to dinosaurs, they can range from being creative or funny to just cute or downright terrifying. Like these two. Yoshi, Mario's trusty seed, and Gon, the insatiable midget terror of the Pleistocene. I'm one fish mob, and it's my job to see who would win in a fight. In all of the Mushroom Kingdom, there's no other place quite like Yoshi's Island. Peaceful lands, majestic scenery, and plenty to eat. But it's also home to the one and only T. Yoshisaur Munchakupas, or as people more commonly call him, Yoshi. Even at a young age, he was destined for greatness and to become one of Bowser's biggest enemies. But despite his looks, he's most certainly no pushover. He can run for indeterminate amounts of time without tiring and resist knockback. His ability to jump rivals that of even Mario's, reaching incredible heights to cross long gaps. Yoshi can also move his legs very fast in the air to slowly move upwards, or just triple jump to get higher. Yoshi can also run faster than Mario on foot and is very agile and acrobatic. He was fast enough to continuously dodge enemies, cannon fire, bullets, and watermelon seeds being spat at him like bullets by monkeys. He's also fast enough to dodge laser beams from the Koopa Kid's mechs, lightning being struck down upon him from a thunder lack or two, and can increase his distance and heights of jump via fluttering his arms and legs, which would require him to kick his legs at least 324 times a second to do so. Yoshi's most well-known attribute is his appetite. He can swallow enemies big and small, alive and whole, and continuously eat without signs of getting full. He can even suck up groups of small enemies like a vacuum and swallow them all at the same time. And if he doesn't want to eat them, he can always spit them back up to use as projectiles. Yoshi is also really intelligent. He can drive a racing car and a motorcycle, able to speak both his native language and Mario's language, has learned to play various sports, and has shown quick thinking and skill when it comes to puzzle solving. He is also a very durable dino. He can survive being crushed by large heavy objects and enemies, can walk on spikes without any harm, can resist intense heat from volcanoes and possibly suns, can devour fireballs, survive bites from chain chomps, and can tank hits from smaller enemies and shake them off quickly. He can get back up after being blown up by the Koopa Kid's mechs. Can remain conscious after getting blasted point blank in the back of the head by a super scope and getting beaten up by rocket powered robot fists. He even survived getting impaled by spikes and kept on fighting. Yoshi is also incredibly strong. He can lift giant eggs several times his size, including ones made of solid metal, can shake the ground by performing a ground pound, was powerful enough to beat Baby Bowser head on, and sent Raphael the Raven into space by ground pounding the ground beneath himself. However, Yoshi isn't just blind power. He carries several natural weapons on him at all times. Yoshi's most notable ability is to shoot out his tongue. With a very far reach, his tongue can be used like a grappling hook or to pull things into his mouth. It's strong enough to hang onto a ledge while carrying Mario, Peach, and several baby Yoshis on his back, and it's fast enough to eat a small group of enemies in seconds and intercept incoming missiles or rebound projectiles such as bombs, fireballs, and other things back at enemies. For long-ranged attacks, Yoshi can lay eggs. Made from the souls of devoured enemies, these lightweight, maneuverable projectiles can be thrown hundreds of feet at max to defeat opponents and are powerful enough to take down larger foes. He can also encase himself in an eggshell to protect himself from damage or roll around in the eggshell to do additional damage. It can also be used to quickly avoid attacks or intercept opponents. However, it will break if damaged too much, leaving Yoshi vulnerable for a few seconds. But that's not all. Yoshi's digestive system is also a weapon. He can eat almost anything from small nipper plants to huge metal shy guys, and whatever or whoever he eats, their souls will turn into eggs with some having special abilities. Though he has trouble swallowing Koopa shells. 
Yoshi also has several trademark techniques. His spin jump lets him jump up very high. His sidekick can help gain speed and damage enemies in his path. His ground stomp hits the ground at full force and is easily one of Yoshi's most powerful attacks. However, if Yoshi needs a leg up, he can use one of several power-ups. The star lets Yoshi go even faster and run up walls, as well as make him invincible. The red Yoshi star lets him blast through walls and enemies like a rocket. The blimp fruit makes Yoshi fly like a balloon. The power flower lets Yoshi breathe fire, and Yoshi, if he can eat a Koopa shell, can gain abilities from them. Green can spit out, red shoots three large fireballs, yellow creates sandstorms whenever Yoshi jumps and hits the ground, blue turns Yoshi into his winged form, allowing flight, and the morph bubble allows Yoshi to turn into different forms, usually a vehicle that resembles himself. And then there's the mushroom, which makes Yoshi a giant that can mow down anything in front of him. Yoshi has certainly proven himself to be powerful on his own. He's aided Mario in all kinds of adventures, led entire groups of Yoshis against the forces of Baby Bowser, and saved Yoshi's island. He also ate enough food to become kaiju sized competed in numerous kinds of sports, survived an explosion powerful enough to destroy a small island, and being hit hard enough to be sent to another planet, and has defeated far larger opponents and once fell onto spikes, and just got back up and continued fighting like it was nothing. However, Yoshi is not an invincible fighter. Yoshi needs to find most of his power-ups and most wear off after a short time. He needs to consume enemies to produce eggs, and cannot eat certain kinds of enemies. He is very lightweight and can be knocked away easily, and his near uncontrollable appetite has led him to eat things that he honestly shouldn't. As well, if Yoshi can't handle the situation he's in, he might end up panicking, leaving him vulnerable. As well, he's usually had Mario by his side to help him, and there's a chance some of his feats might have been done by other Yoshis that look like him. But hey, this lean green eating machine is not one to be taken lightly, because if you aren't careful, you might end up being his next meal. The food chain is a delicate interwoven web with one rule, only the strong survive. These food chains, when in balance, create a perfect harmony where every animal has its place. But every once in a while, something will come to disrupt this perfect balance, and in this case, it was the pint-sized terror of the Pleistocene known as Gone. <laughs> Hailing from a time long forgotten, Gon somehow managed to survive the extinction of his fellow dinosaurs and made it into the Pleistocene period. Here, he quickly set up a dominance in pretty much every ecosystem out there with nothing but brute force. Here, he quickly took up the role as a protector of animals with a good heart. Eh, most of the time. But don't let Gon's cute appearance or height fool you. He is the very definition of a force of nature. He can withstand the claws, teeth, tusks, horns, and hooves of much larger and powerful animals, and is tough enough to survive lethal falls and being crushed by massive objects. And despite being only two feet in height, Gon is extremely strong for his size. He is strong enough to split a giant clam and shatter stone. He is powerful enough to stay firmly clasped to the side of a cliff as a rock fell on his head has pulled down or carried fully grown elephants, and kicked and headbutted giant boulders around like they're nothing. He also swung giant trees around like baseball bats, and can shake the earth by stomping or clubbing it with his tail. His strength isn't just within his head or jaw. He can jump so far and so long he appears to soar and can flap his arms to give him limited flight and can run and swim at blinding speeds for undetermined periods of time without tiring out. 
Gong can also hold its breath for an undetermined amount of time, can be knocked around by powerful beasts like rhinos, and fall from a great height head first onto a rock and keep on kicking relatively unfazed. And despite his brutish nature, Gon is pretty smart. He's used bigger animals as steeds, led entire groups of their animals into battle, has utilized disguises, built a giant dam, and even hid in the mouth of a shark to eat easy food. And if Gon is electrocuted, he temporarily gets electric powers. He can electrocute anyone he touches, and said electricity can pass through objects and electrocute people on the opposite side of it, and ought to do the same to others who touch the already electrocuted. But this only lasts a certain amount of time. But the most obvious thing about Gon is his massive appetite. As long as it's edible, Gon can eat pretty much anything and everything. He can eat large amounts of food in seconds, ate the tentacles of a giant squid off, stripped fish clean of their flesh, and can survive eating hallucinogenic mushrooms. However, Gon isn't just a savage. He has ways of delivering his incredible power into enemies. His most common attack is headbutting his opponent, which is strong enough to knock down trees and can even perform a ground pound with it. His mouth is also a deadly weapon. Lined with rows of sharp teeth, Gon can toss enemies around like a ragdoll and is strong enough to bite through trees and rock. His tail is used like a whip and club against enemies and can hit multiple targets. Gon can yell so loud, he creates noticeable ripples in the air and creates some small form of gale force winds. He can also spit fireballs and dispel clouds of stink towards his opponent, strong enough to send Konka the Stink King flying. Gon has shown time and time again why you don't go messing with the wildlife. He fought his way through countless ecosystems, tore a wildebeest in half with only his mouth, drank an entire oasis dry in a few seconds, and is powerful enough to beat creatures several times his own size. He cleared an entire forest with nothing but his head and speed, ran across the entire planet within a second, and became so angry he literally splits the earth in half. Even though Gon may be absolutely terrifying, he's not completely invincible. Gon can be enraged rather easily, and in the game he appears to tire out occasionally. His intelligence fluctuates, going from clueless to strategically cunning, and doesn't usually know he's in danger. But most of the time, Gon just prefers to rush into battle without planning ahead. However, if you're as strong as Gon, you can afford a few nicks and scratches. It's not going to hurt him either way. Alright, the combatants are set. This battle will have no prep time, no outside help, or home field advantage. Let the battle begin.
So why did Gon win? Well, this was certainly no easy victory for him. Yoshi was easily more durable, a lot smarter, has fought powerful opponents before, and some of Yoshi's power-ups and abilities would prove problematic to Gon, especially since he never really experienced something like Yoshi before. However, Gon was far more tenacious, was easily strong enough to toss Yoshi around like a rag doll, a lot faster, and can stand up to some of Yoshi's power-ups. So this was a really close battle, but was ultimately a few details that leaned it towards Gon. First off, all of Yoshi's power-ups only last a short time, so the ones that does give Yoshi an advantage wouldn't last that long. As well, Yoshi has relied on outside help very often, while Gon has fought and won all of his matches, well, all most of them, usually on his own. However, the biggest thing that led us into Gon's favor was really the fact that neither have faced something like the other before. But in the end, Gon would have been able to handle himself and the fight a lot better than Yoshi, who has been shown to panic when he can't handle the situation. Looks like Yoshi has gone with the wind. The winner is gone. World hunger. Nuclear proliferation. Reality TV. None of those horrors compared to... Gone ball deprivation!